This house was rocking and rolling. Walls knocked out, glass shattered. It wasn't from a twister. A record breaking 5.6 magnitude earthquake rocked the Prague area last November and devastated the Renault's home. This horrible shaking started, and uh, we were both hanging on to the dresser just to stand up. There were hundreds of small earthquakes along the Wilsetta Fault before and after the major one. At that time, the Oklahoma Geological Survey said... It's just the earth moving, and, and it's making us very aware that who's actually in control. You know, it's, it's nothing that anybody can really do. But is an active fault line the real cause? To get some answers, we travel to a state that's also had a swarm of earthquakes, Arkansas. These large gray lines are your faults. In the early 80s, there were a number of quakes near Enola, Arkansas. Then they stopped. Fast forward almost 30 years to 2009, more earthquakes... 10 miles away. In this particular area, there were no historic earthquakes located. But geologist Scott Osbrooks says there were injection wells. Here's how the wells work. Oil companies break or frack a rock using water and sand to help extract the gas. Once that happens, the water has to be disposed of, so crews use high pressure to send the water a mile or more underground. In 2010, two more injection wells were added to the area, and hundreds of earthquakes followed over a four-month span, including a 4.0 magnitude. That really got people's attention. They're wondering what's going on. And so that's when the, uh, the Arkansas Oil and Gas Commission you know, said, okay, is there something going on? That's when we began, our, um, we began to look more closely at it. Soon after, the Arkansas Oil and Gas Commission issued a moratorium on four wells in the area, and the earthquake stopped. It would be an extraordinary coincidence if there wasn't some kind of causal relationship between the wells and the uh, earthquakes. Oklahoma's expert geologist was scheduled at one time to speak against a tie between injection wells and the Arkansas quakes. There's no reason that these earthquakes look any different than the ones that occurred prior. Still, looking at other states, U.S. Army geologists have linked injection wells to quakes in Colorado. In Texas, university geologists have made the same link. And just last month, Ohio's governor issued a moratorium on five wells suspected of causing earthquakes there. There are almost 200 injection wells in Lincoln County alone, the epicenter of the record-breaking November earthquake. Still, the state organization that oversees the wells in Oklahoma, the Oklahoma Corporation Commission, says there's no link, according to its expert, Austin Holland. I would point back to what Mr. Holland said. Based on all the data that's available now, there's nothing that indicates that the faults were caused along the Wazita fault line were due to anything other than naturally occurring phenomenon. But that's not exactly what Holland told us. These earthquakes are occurring much deeper than those inj injection depths. Um, now, this is a very unique area, and the geology is, is unique. And so I'm trying to come up with, you know, address whether it's possible or not. Finding a tie between the injection wells and earthquakes would be detrimental to the entire state. That's according to the Oklahoma Independent Petroleum Association. It shuts down. Your gasoline prices would double, triple, I don't know. After we pointed out what the Petroleum Association said, Commissioner Murphy admitted all possibilities must be looked into. I don't look at it as being about politics. I look at it as we study the data, we look at the information, we try to follow what the recommendations are, and we take in complaints and issues and investigate all of them, just like we always have. Was there pressure, you think, in some aspects to not find a tie? I, mean, I don't feel that pressure. It's sort of my core value. Uh, to be very careful with the scientific method and my objectivity. But for the people whose homes were destroyed, the cause might bring some peace of mind, natural or man-made. Marla Carter, 2 News Works for you.